What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of $20 Chef. Today, what am I going with? I'm going soup season. Stew falls under soup in soup season. So I'm going with a classic, simple, real easy to do beef stew. And if that wasn't good enough, because it's cold as balls outside and beef stew is perfect right now, I'm slapping a little CBD MD, okay? That cold weather starts making your back hurt. You know what I mean? Maybe you've been putting in too much work. Maybe you haven't been putting in any work, but you have a shitty ass bed. We're talking about CBD MD right here, the leader in the CBD industry. And you know what else? You go ahead and get a couple of drops, wham, right into your delicious beer. <sighs> My favorite part about CBD MD? where it comes from. It's derived from ethically sourced US grown hemp. None of that busted ass, half ass old shitty Chinese CBDMD. This is that US grown hemp. This is the real deal right here, all right? Go to CBDMD.com, use promo code CHEF. Wham, 20% off. Get the CBDMD oil you want at a fraction of the cost. All right, so obviously we're kicking this off. You're cutting a lot of veggies. All right, so I went with onion, carrot, celery, and potatoes. That's what we're gonna cut up. Cut up some onion here. Remember, this is how Gordy taught us how to cut onions. And by the way, Gordon, Gordon Ramsay, how can you ever come on my show yet, man? I thought you'd come on, bash all my skills, bash my show and all my gear, leave me with a couple of tips, just enough to gather up what I have left in my self-esteem and confidence and walk on to another episode. Come on, Gordon. Come on my show. All right, a little garlic and shallots coming in next. Now, I, the recipe didn't call for this. I just like cooking with them. So I'm doing it myself, you know? I love cutting. I just love cutting stuff up. Let's get a little oil in our pan, heat it up. I'm going to get the onions in there. Garlic and shallots here first. My buddy Ron Sanchez told me that you don't always want to put the garlic in when it's piping hot. You want to let it ease into the heat, get a little more of that flavor of the garlic without burning it all. Now I'm not going to peel the carrots on this one. I'm going to, I'm just going to wash them off and let the skin stay on. I have that, I enjoy that flavor of the skin when I eat the beef stew. Potatoes, I'm going chunks. You don't have to go red potatoes, I did. That's what I like the most. That's what I went with. All you're doing is going with what you like, it's your food. Onion coming in, there it is. That's gonna be what, this is just all the flavor kicking off this whole dish. With your stew meat, salt it up, pepper, Let's get it in there. You got your meat in there with our cooked onion, shallots, and garlic. Whenever I eat beef stew, I feel like a big thug. I feel like I can just go snack on bricks after that shit. This falls way under budget. Stew meat's like seven bucks, anywhere from three to seven bucks a pound, depending on where you live. Carrots are only a couple of bucks, celery a couple bucks, potatoes are cheap. This is like three bucks for the stock, a little can of tomato sauce, a buck. And you couple that with 20% off at CBDMB.com. Promo code CHEF. Someone's coming out on top, my friend, and I think it's you. All right. When this is all nice and brown on every side, we're gonna pull it out, put it in a bowl, pop it in the microwave to hang on while we cook our other vegetables in our broth. You know where I've always excelled? I've always been really good at doing dumb ass shit. Like dumb shit that just messes up my life for a day or an hour or a week. One time, my dumb ass came out of a gas station. I was all happy, probably had just gotten some good weed. I was living in Hermosa Beach. I'm at the Exxon on aviation, right? I come running out, I throw my truck keys up in the air to catch them, and I threw them too high, and they landed on top of the goddamn awning of the gas pumps. I'm not getting that down. I ended up paying 200 bucks because the guy wouldn't let me get a ladder to go up there, and I had to go to the dealership and get a new car. I had to get my, sh that's just some dumb shit. And if you go to that Exxon on Aviation right now in Hermosa Beach and you go up top, I bet you my good eye, my keys are still up there from 2006. Hey, I know I'm not the only dumbass. If you've done some dumb shit, drop it right here. Put that little hand up, the emoji hand, in like a couple sentences, tell me how dumb you have been. Cause I'm, you know, I know you ain't dumber than me. I'm the dumbest motherfucker that you know. All right, let's get our beef out of here. Let it chill out while we cook these vegetables. Potatoes coming in. There it is. This is what you need. This is, a, this is what your great, 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 great grandpa was doing, man. And this is where you can get creative with the spices if you want to. You know, I'm gonna put a little more salt and pepper in there. Hit it with the red pepper flakes, obviously. Hey, what's that, celery salt? Sure, we try that out. How about a little basil? Yeah, a little basil. Why not? This isn't part of the basic recipe, but who cares? Your ancestors were making beef stew. Just hanging out around a campfire after robbing a train or some shit like that. Killing some kind of wild ass animals, coming back with a pot that dangles over the fire and shit. One dude that always stinks like garlic and onion just sitting there all day stewing it up. All right, I'm probably gonna add half a box of beef broth. There we go, look at that. Put your meat back in. Okay, so we just added our stew meat back in with the broth and all the vegetables. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of this CBDMD. Just when you thought beef stew couldn't get any better, we went and made it better. 
All right, grab your tomato sauce. It's time to toss it in. We've been simmering for 15, 20. Mix that up nice. Look at that beef stew coming around the corner. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let that simmer. In the meantime, I'm gonna run myself a little bubble bath, my man. Give me a couple of CBD bath bombs in there. Eat this bowl of soup, lay up, enjoy my life. Oh yeah, showtime. Hang up your apron, my man. Booze, hit him with the ladder cam. Look at that, your house smells delicious. You're, you're summonsing all of the beef stew pimps from the past. What is this, 1856? Look at us. Big, hearty, delicious bowl of beef stew. Getting, I, I cut up a little jalapeno and onion. Obviously not traditional, but that's how I love it. And last but not least, what are we missing? A couple more drops, CBD MD. Boom, now we're ready. Hey, look at me go, huh? Little CBD MD bath bomb, little beef stew with some CBD MD drops, oil drops right on in there. I'm living. This is how you live it up right here. I don't even know why I even lit the candles because the goddamn bathroom light's still on. See you guys next episode of $20 Chef.